I had a thoughtful comment on a recent video about how to better label your emotions, and I thought I would make another video going into detail. This is a great comment, and it brought up some awesome things about being able to label your emotions better and to understand where they come from in your body, or having a body atlas, per se. So the feelings wheel, and I'll put one up here. I'm not saying this is the only one. This is a quick Google search away. Finding a feelings wheel will help you be able to label your emotions better. I know when I first started this emotional intelligence journey, I had no idea what I was doing, and I really was like a robot in that I didn't really know how to emote. I didn't have labels for what I was feeling. Really just get it out of my head and try to put some labels on things to try to help me understand how I feel in the moment. So the feelings wheel is a great way for you to get started with being able to label things. It clearly goes from outside to inside, all around the wheel, and it's quite helpful for you to be able to see where things come from and where they go in terms of the stronger to the less strong emotions. And then we can get over to the body atlas. And here's a body atlas that I, again, found online. I'm not saying this is the only one. So this, you know, it has this woman's website on it. This is a very interesting thing that I had never really even seen. So seeing where in your body your emotions can come from. I'll be honest, I've never really seen this body atlas. I do find it quite interesting, especially like getting into the more spiritual aspects of emotional intelligence. So I'm not going to completely discount it, but I definitely need to spend more time trying to understand it. I do align with where things are, but in terms of my actual feelings about this, ironically, I probably need to go back to the feelings wheel and figure out exactly how I'm feeling in relation to the body atlas. What do you think? Do you think these are useful tools for an engineer? You should drop me a comment because I really think that the Feelings wheel is perfect if you want to get started on trying to be more self-aware because it'll help you journal and be able to better verbalize how you're feeling in the moment. What do you think? If you're ready to move on to another emotional intelligence video, you can check out my whole playlist of emotional intelligence videos up here. Or if you're ready to move on to social intelligence, you can get started down here. Or you can keep doing what you're doing and getting the results you've been getting. Up to you.